Okay, hello guys. Thank you so much for having me and coming here. Welcome to my talk. I want to talk about a system to link prediction in social media in tourist industry. Um, I'm Samira. I'm working on NLP for more than eight years. Lately, I was working on AI assistant based on uh, knowledge graph. Before that, I designed and de development a knowledge graph using absolutely no 4J based on uh, noisy tags. These guys are my friends in Iran's uh, open source community, and I want to start my talk with them. So let's go. Uh, I want to talk about tourism industry and tra travel social network as a data source. Is system design, data gathering, extract the key phrase, relation extract, extract user demography, tourism ontology, notes and relation in tourism industry, construct a knowledge graph, link prediction, and extract travel scenario using page ranking algorithm, which is based on knowledge graph and uh, demo my system. After all, I can address your question. Why tourism industry? To be honest, I like tourism, but however, last year and before COVID, 40% people talk about their decision to go to trip to see other place, which is very well known and in social media. Uh, they said they decided based on what they see on Instagram and TripAdvisor and other social media. But um, I had a question in my mind why and how they decided about their vacation and which uh, social media helps them to decide about their entertainment. It seems National Geographic Travel Instagram had uh, more than 35 million uh, followers, which is very high. And 60% of Instagram's post is about traveling. 100% of TripAdvisor's post is about traveling. So I decided to gather this data and design a system uh, based on graph. Why graph? Because I'm thinking graph is a representation of a complex system and social literally means a complex system. I designed this system and uh, during my talk, I will explain each component of it. I gathered uh, data from Instagram based on trees, um, concept, hashtag, everything about trees and gathered all other uh, data from TripAdvisor. So, but it was really a huge amount of data that I can couldn't process that uh, using language detection to to just process English text because I'm, I don't have enough resource for that. In pre-processing a stuff, I just remove all the URL emoji and uh, every useless data that I'm thinking I don't need it, but index all data because I want to have how extract relation from this kind of noisy text, which uh, is full of misspelling, uh, full of uh, it's unstructure and uh, really noisy text. text. I store data in a uh, MongoDB, and after that, I construct in the first sub my, my graph from words to verb and uh, process them using many mo module in Node4j. Extract topics, named entity recognition, user demography, and construct first step of knowledge graph based on time. After that, use another module from knowledge graph and predict some link which is promising, which is missed, which is hidden. Uh, absolutely use no 4 j And after all, the core value of this system, which was really uh, high value for me, was, was troll scenario, 
which means uh, I want to answer the question how, when people want to go to it for you, what kind of equipment they need, how they follow their dreams for vacation in social media, in TripAdvisor, how they search about their concern in social media. I'm sure people are not constructive about the traveling. They're, they're talk about it in public. They share their photo, their idea, their everything about enjoying enjoyable things is public. It's not a secret. So let's go and start our code. Firstly, I gathered, uh, I coded some spider, which is uh, gathered data from TripAdvisor and Instagram using spider. Is it not so very high level development phase, but I've done it. In the next phrase, phase, I extracting key, key phrase, which was very hard and very important. People in social media and in TripAdvisor, they are not talking formal. They are misspelling, they, are, they have a lot of sarcasm, they're using phrase, abbreviation, chatting. For example, in a comment, they started, how are you and what are you doing and what's happened to your child? And, uh, but I don't need it. But, Absolutely, I have to detect it. And using named entity recognition from data set, named entity recognition is, was a most important part of my, of my work, which people don't mention it, uh, maybe sometimes in, di in the direct way. But um, I have to construct a graph. So I extract a word graph of from the data using ranking problem. I use predefined lexical pattern uh, and extracting engrams. Um, using BERT, BERT was helpful way. I don't use no 4 j in this phase, I'm sorry. Uh, extract words, but uh, it was important how the words in, is important in this project. I don't want political idea. I don't want trends. I just want some things about traveling, not, for example, president traveling, uh, ordinary people traveling. So using centrality measurement, uh, which is the, one of the tools in graph theory, helpful to understand how a word is important. I will demonstrate this part of code in, at the end of the presentation. After that, I have to find the importance word based on uh, based on how, how it's popular and during the time how the word is changed because I have to gather data based on time, not just a time I gather data, that, that's fine. I need to know how people change their mind, change their word, and how important these were. At the end of this phase, at this phase, I had a knowledge graph. I had a graph. No, it's not a knowledge because I need relation. But at this phase, I just extract some notes uh, and some important notes. In the next phase, I have to extract a uh, relation. In Neo4j, the best way for me to extract relation was based on property because verb, uh, verbs, well, verbs was the only thing I had to show it's the, there is a kind of relation. The verb has a, can be causal, can be a, a informative, can be a descriptive, but the, the, they're all, all they have, I just have uh, verbs as a connector. I gathered co-occurrence relationship based on N words and past finding with method using synthetic filters, traverse graph and uh, extracting relation property i just have used the codes in the next step extract demographic data because it's very important how people decide about their time based on their gender their nationality their age it's 
it's literally important and uh, I have to know how they decide about that. And uh, next, but it's not enough for me. I need to know what is tourism and ontology. What kind of industry working on trees? Just location is important. Uh, people are just going to see and visit World Heritage, just going to see some festivals, foods, events, and uh, how they're going to trees and what kind of transportation we have, which kind of equipment people need. For example, they're going to a luxury hotels and I have to know in which city how, what kind of hotel we have and uh, which kind of entertainment based on culture, based on the season they have. So I uh, constructed, to be honest, constructed a tourism ontology based on Wikipedia which includes uh, lots of well, label. I use these kind of data as a label. In the next step, I, I, in my tourism ontology had notes. My data from social had notes and relation, but these two kind of knowledge, these two kind of graph, I couldn't say that the knowledge graph, have to relate it to each other. For the tourism ontology, I use pattern, parent and child relation. For example, country and cities really is parent and child relation, which is a cipher coding and it's not really hard. Part of, I used a part of a, a relation, which means some social science and cultural science is a gather, is a, um, if we're have a, this kind of relationship, if we're. And uh, I use is a, uh, which means an equal relationship. For example, World Heritage is a uh, equal relation and sibling relation, for example, transportation. And sometimes I had to set some property as a link, for example, country's name, which connected a lot of nodes and um, a country related to culture, related to food trans, Portation, world heritage, tourism attractive, and a lots of uh, property. I'm thinking property is the best way to construct a relation between nodes. After that, I had a knowledge graph. So finally, I could extract nodes and relation from the social data and from the uh, ontology. So there is a lot of notes, there is a lot of relation, but it's the first time I have a knowledge graph and in T0, for, for example, during the time people change mind trends, it's changed, literally uh, COVID changed whole tourism industry, the transportation, the hotels, everything is changed. So uh, I need to uh, store graphs time by time during a period of time. But it, it, uh, the first phase I extract this knowledge graph. In the next step, uh, finally, I have to predict the link. About in, per, uh, link prediction was about inferring future or uh, unseen connection. I have graphs, but these graphs also aren't useful. Maybe, for example, I find a relation between shoes for walking and tickets from airplanes, but I don't know. And another kind of suitcase, for example. I want to extract if somebody buy these shoes to go to walking 
I would just want to uh, go trips as a um, some usual trip as a business trips. I used historical link prediction algorithm, community detection algorithm, which helps me to understand people uh, based on their demography uh, decided about the future, the, about the uh, entertainment, about the industry, about the trips. And similarity algorithm, which means if I'm working with the same uh, attribute and property, thinking about some things, another person with the same attribute, maybe with a high probability thinking like me. And finally, I want to, as a core value of this system, I want to extract trouble scenario using page rank algorithm. Uh, I want to answer this question, who wants to visit where? I want to extract destination, travels, type travels, equipment, tourism attraction, lodging, rate sharing, and lots of stuff. And the only way I could answer this question was past finding. I can demo my system up uh, before demo my system. How I understand my system working so well? I use validation knowledge graph by uh, machine learning metrics and uh, using travel anthology. I, I extracted from Wikipedia about there is a lot other uh, travel anthology and tourism ontology, which helps me to understand my knowledge graph workings well and predict link correctly. The, uh, the accuracy which my system using machine learning give to me is 93%, but I'm not sure about that in real world and after pandemic, how change it. Okay, we can run code and Use my system. I'm thinking I 